the deep web versus the dark web. They're not the same. Basically, the deep web is huge and kind of boring, and the dark web is a little bit spookier. Let's start with the deep web. It's big. In 2001, it was estimated to be 400 to 550 times larger than the surface web, and it's been growing exponentially since then. The deep web contains mostly benign sites, like your password protected email accounts, parts of paid subscription services like Netflix, and sites that can be accessed only through an online form. This prevents someone from accessing your Gmail inbox by Googling your name, for example. In other words, if Google can't find what you're looking for, it's probably still out there in the World Wide Web. It's just in the harder to access deep web. If Google can find it, by the way, then it's on the surface web, which makes up only 0.03% of the internet. That's nothing. The dark web. This is a collection of websites that have hidden IP addresses and may require specific software to access. The websites number only in the thousands and they're characterized by their use of encryption software that makes their users and their locations anonymous. That's why illegal activity is so common on the dark web. Users can withhold their identity, the owners of illegal websites can hide their location, and data can be transferred anonymously. This means that the dark web is full of things like illegal drug and firearm transactions, pornography, and gambling. A notorious online black market called Silk Road was shut down by the FBI in 2013. You might have heard of it. The dark web is also used by political whistleblowers, activists, and journalists who may be censored or could risk political retaliation if discovered by their government. Most notably, the website WikiLeaks has its home on the dark web. So there you have it. I like to think of the internet kind of like an ocean. You know, there's deep parts and dark parts, and there is way more than what you can see on the surface.